together, have lived together for three years. He's a busy guy himself, but never busy enough to check in on me almost every day or to see how one might change him. You never fail to be the life of the party, and you are a legend in so many ways. Of course, I want to say a big thank you to the great Sophie Torch. Watching all of your success and running has been so fun to watch. You've motivated me much over, so much over the last few years to be a better runner and a better person overall. You show me what you do. You truly show me what true education looks like. And now that we're on the way out, the end of the days, you're going to have to find themselves a new power go. <laughs> and everyone I didn't get a chance to mention, my time is limited up here, but just know I'm thankful for each one of you. I'm really excited to see what both teams will accomplish in the coming years. Because you're such a talented group, so keep working hard and good things are going to happen for you all. Plus, somebody's going to have to give John Carroll a run for the run. I wouldn't consider it myself to be very wise, but if you take any more advice from me, remember that it's good to set goals for yourself, but never to hold yourself to any expectation. My dad told me this after I stood my craft and in accordance with the discovery of evil, and it's helped me a lot over the years with not dwelling on bad races or workouts. Setting goals encourages your growth and progress, and expectations just make you focus on results and just leave it frustrating. I'd like to end with that. Thank you all for bearing with me and the rest of us seniors. I know these speeches make the night feel pretty long, but don't worry, it'll all work out. Thank <laughs> you.